Last but not least, we'll be doing sector area. And we're going to be using the same strategies we did for arc length and radians. So what is sector area? Well, basically, a sector is the piece where you connect the center to the two points on the arc there and all that area in between. So in other words, it's a lot like a pie slice. And um, what would we do if I wanted to tell, ask you, what is the area of a circle where you have a 90 degree angle? Well, when you did this in middle school, you realized, well, if I took the area for that piece over the whole area, it better equal the fraction of one-fourth. So we're going to do this the same way. We're going to be setting up proportions for area as well. You're not going to see the weirdness that we saw with scale factor because this is different. We're doing part to whole and part to whole, and the relationship should be the same. So area for a sector, if I'm doing it in degrees, this pi r squared is the whole on bottom, and the whole for degrees is 360. If I'm doing it in radians, pi r squared is still the whole area, but now the whole number of radians is 2 pi. So in our example, I'm going to find the area of the white sectors. So I know the area of the sector over the whole is equal to the angle measured over the whole. Substituting in, I know that r is 15, and I'm going to actually say that the angles two of the 45, 40 degree sections. So it's going to end up being 80 over 360. Then I can multiply, uh, simplify the zeros on the 80 and the 360, multiply both sides by 225 pi, and I get 1800 pi over 36, or 50 pi inches squared. And that is my exact answer. If you would like an approximation, you can get a calculator, put it in, and you'll find that it's a little bit over 150 square inches. So how is the sector area formula similar to the arc length formula? They're both proportions doing part to whole equals part to whole.